YouTube Valley Community, Ringo Star fans, random people on the internet, my name is Giggins. We're here today for a review of the brand new Ringo album, well, new EP, Crooked Boy. Look at Ringo there. Looking super cool in this 1963-64 photo. Obviously, Ringo needs no introduction. He happened to join the band that became the biggest band of all time, survived that breakup, had a string of humongously successful singles and albums, wanted to do TV shows, had a humongous touring career, and he still continues that touring career with his all-star band. And for the last few years, he's been putting out EPs. He kind of got to the point, I think right before the pandemic, where he was like, you know what? I'm done with albums. It takes too long. I gotta sit there and do this whole thing. I don't feel like it. I love EPs. You know, when he was a kid, he loved EPs. So he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna put these things out instead. And that's what he's been doing. This is his like fourth or fifth one at this point, which is really, really fun. And this one in particular is special because it's produced and written by Linda Perry, songwriter extraordinaire who's been around for a long time, who's worked with everybody. And the players on this record are different than anyone he's worked with before, including Nick Valencia of The Strokes. Over the last almost 20 years at this point, Ringo has been extremely prolific. So many albums have come out since the late 90s. And... Most of them have that sort of feel you expect from Ringo. Kind of laid back, a couple of upbeat groovers here and there, and basically just jamming with his friends, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. What's really cool about this release, though, is that that's all changed. Lyrically, there's different themes on here. There are themes that are very Ringo, of course, but like he touches onto some new territory, some new textures with this EP release. And vocally, he's going to places I've never heard him go before, at least maybe not in a long time. It just goes to show that Ringo is stoked to be doing this still. He's stoked to try something new. He's got a new gang of people with him here, and he's having a great time doing it. Lead single and lead off track of this EP, February Sky, opens up with this sort of weary guitar and kind of plodding drums, and a lead vocal from Ringo that sounds like he's kind of world weary. You know, it's kind of like, ooh, what's going on? It's kind of dark and ominous out, ominous out there. And um, it's exactly what the track has. It's got this feeling of uncertainty in the verses before kind of leading into this like, you know, the clouds are parting, the sun's coming down, the birds are coming out, feeling in the chorus. It's a song about acknowledging the bad times that you might be in, or not necessarily even bad, but just times where you're not feeling like things are working out for you. You know things can get better. You're tired of the gray days. You're tired of that late winter feeling where things just aren't getting, like, you know spring's coming, but you're like, when is this going to happen? Can we get rid of these February skies and have March skies come in, please? It's a song that's definitely going to stay in your head. Um, I love hearing Ringo push his voice and go to places he hasn't really gone to before. And you hear his voice crack a little bit here and there, which for me, I love that realness. And hearing that definitely adds to the story a lot more, the, the storytelling of the uh, of the track. So yeah, I really dig this one. Adeline is track two on this thing, and Ringo's drumming on this is so tight. I mean, he's one of the best drummers in the world ever for a reason. He's incredible. He's a human metronome. The guy's amazing. Um, a track how life can have its ups and downs. Simple as that. How do you work through them? How do you figure it out? It's kind of a continuation of February Sky. Um, even more of an acknowledgement down to the point of like bare bones in it. February Sky is more of like a, you know, if, if February Sky was like the wordy poem to like show off to your friends, Adeline's kind of like, all right, this is just what's happening. Bare bones, end of the day, here's how I feel. It's not my favorite track on the EP. It's probably the weakest one on the bunch. Again, Ringo's voice cracks a few times, and I feel like most producers would get rid of that, but I really like that you hear his voice crack. Um, it just adds to the storytelling element. Side 2 opens up with Gonna Need Someone, and this thing is just like upbeat, charged, rock and roll, perfect for Ringo. It sounds like a stroke song. You know, Nick's guitars on this thing sound you know very punctual, and they stab and they're biting it's almost like a almost a jet are you gonna be my girl kind of riff and it just works the chorus is repeated a thousand times but it's so much fun everyone just sounds like they're so stoked to be playing this song it sounds like it's about to take off at any moment now it's a really fun Ringo modern classic and the last track on here and the title track Crooked Boy this thing is great it's a little bit autobiographical which Ringo's done here and there for the last handful of releases um and hearing him talk about like being sick as a kid and always giving the peace and love uh throughout his day and throughout his life you know sticking to his fighting the good fight it's nice to hear that in this song this track does have a bit of like a we're wrapping this up it's closing time come on get out of here feel but it's also got this like victory lap feel where you know Ringo's seen it all he's done it all he's been here he's been there he's been all around the world he's done the game and at the end of the day you know he's just a kid who grew up he had a rough go of it as a kid, he made it with the Beatles, he had a humongous solo career, and he still continues to be 
one of the most amazing musicians and cool dudes of all time, the one thing that this track is like begging for are the other three Beatles on background vocals during the verses. That's all I can imagine is John, Paul, and George just nailing, like soaring harmonies in the background while Ringo sings, because the song does have kind of a beatle feel, which makes sense. He's kind of beatle Here's the back cover. Nice gray February sky. And this happens to be a Record Store Day version, so this came out a week before the digital release on Record Store Day. And actually printed this on the sleeve itself, which is really cool. The inner sleeve. You got the lyrics here with the credits. And it's printed on a really cool black and white marble vinyl. As of this video being released, Ringo has confirmed he's working on a country album. Doesn't sound like it's going to be an EP, it sounds like it's going to be a full album, which will be his first one in years at this point. And I'm excited for it. His first couple albums there, you know, the country influence, he nails that feeling. He's so good at it. And I'm really stoked to see what comes next. It's definitely the, the flavor of the times to do a country album. But, um, you know, I think Ringo's going to really do a great job with his. So who knows if we'll get more EPs after this or if he's back to records, like full-length albums. Or that's just a detour, he's back to EPs after that. Who knows? There's no stopping the Ringo machine. And why not? He's having fun. He's grooving with his friends. He's doing some great tunes. Like, just keep going, man. You're doing great. February Sky is a nice little snapshot into what Ringo can do working with new people. And what's fascinating about that is, like, you definitely go into a lot of Ringo projects expecting a certain feel. You're going to have a couple slow ones, a couple fast ones, a couple ballads, a couple you know, mid-tempo rockers, and you're going to get that nice little Ringo blend and just enjoy the album experience. Coming into this one, hearing February Sky for the first time on its own, I was like, oh, this one's going to be different because, you know, Linda Perry is such an established writer and working with Ringo, having his voice on those lyrics and then Linda sort of writing these songs that might not be, you know, vocally the first idea of, oh, Ringo Starr, but he nails it. I love hearing his take on this. I love hearing his voice get stretched out. He tries new things with his voice. He's pushing himself. A true artist will always push themselves just to see where they can go. And he lands it really well with this album. So yeah, it's an EP. It's only four songs. Three of the four I really, really dig. Adeline's not my favorite, but who knows? In time, it might become my favorite. It might grow on me at some point. But for right now, I'm really digging this thing. It's hard to judge or you know rank an album, an EP, out of a score out of 10 because it's like there's only four songs in this thing. But I'm going to give it a seven. I really enjoy it. It's solid. The playing is super tight. You know, I really love hearing him play when do people. And who knows what's going to happen next for the guy, whether it's an EP or how the country record's going to go, or who's going to be on that, what kind of features he's going to have. Something tells me there's going to be some big names on that country album. And I'm really excited for that. So anyways, 7 out of 10 for Ringo's Crooked Boy. I really enjoy it. It's worth picking up. At least stream it. But um, yeah, what you think about this thing? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, my name is Giggins. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me that you guys have stuck with me all these years. All these years. All these years. And um gonna go hang out looking cool like Ringo now but thanks for watching see you guys in the next album review take care of yourselves bye bye